Good mo- nope, oh, sorry. Not good morning. <laughs> it's good afternoon. So it's Sunday. It's my day to, to kind of rest and relax. So I'm a little behind time. Actually, oh my gosh, it's it's almost good evening. Okay. <laughs> what can I tell you? Anyway, normally don't do this on, on Sundays, but I wanted to talk a little bit about something that I've noticed this week with some people that are on my team and in some of my groups. And it just, it's been kicking around my mind today so I wanted to talk about it a little bit and that is scheduling okay scheduling time for your marketing because you schedule everything else in your life we schedule oil changes and you know checkups health checkups and kids soccer games and scout meetings and dinner dates with our significant others and lunch meetings with our friends or co-workers so why would you not schedule your marketing okay because if it's not locked into your schedule chances are your marketing's not going to get done. And if your marketing doesn't get done, then you're never going to see it kick into high gear. You, you eat regular meals to keep yourself healthy and thriving. Why would you not do regular marketing? It's what keeps your business healthy and thriving. Gives it what it needs. New customers, more sales. You know, I schedule one morning a week to write newsletters. I schedule time during the week for creating photo you know, photo posts for Facebook and for scheduling Twitter um, posts and anything else that needs to get done that keeps traffic coming to my website and it converts my prospects to clients. So if you haven't done it already, then you need to block out time each day or each week to spend on marketing. I think a minimum of five hours a week if possible. So follow these steps to help keep your marketing on task. First thing you need to do is set your marketing goals. How many new contacts do you want to make this month? How many articles do you want to publish? How many times do you want to publish a newsletter? How many blog posts do you want to write? After you've got all that figured out and you've got your goals down, then you want to create your calendar. Now, whether you use an online calendar, such as Google Calendar, Outlook Calendar, whatever you want to, you know, or some other digital format, or whether you're like me and you still use paper and, you know, I use sticky notes, to be honest. Some people are actually very fancy and use an actual planner. <laughs> Whatever works for you. Some kind of calendar is an essential part of your marketing. Once you have chosen your format, like I said, don't care what it is. Sticky notes works for me. Whatever works for you. But start scheduling your activities for the month. So write down due dates for articles and newsletters. A lot time for posting to social media and allow time to track your results so you know what works and what doesn't. Then the last thing you need to do is get to work. It's really that simple. Step three is really that simple. Get to work. Follow your schedule and implement the plan that you have laid out. So create and follow your marketing schedule because it's going to help you keep your marketing on track. Your calendar doesn't have to be carved in stone. It can be flexible. So leave room for the on-the-fly promotions and any last-minute opportunities that come your way. And as always, with any business schedule, make sure you leave time for yourself to re-energize and recharge, just like today's normally my day. Don't overdo it. And don't stress if you don't get all of your marketing tasks completed. Figure out why you weren't able to complete the task. Then determine if it's something you want to reschedule. And if so, add it to next month's schedule. If you find yourself repeatedly skipping a particular task, then you need to determine why you're resistant to doing it and how to overcome that resistance, okay? But that's that's another video. All I will tell you is by doing that is when I determined that I hated cold calling and learned to market online. So take a good look at why you're skipping tasks if you're doing it repeatedly and see if there's some kind of little mental block there. So that's all I wanted to talk about today. Schedule your marketing. Go forth and implement. Talk to you later.